I want to write to the beautiful Italian ladies. Mamma <laughs> mia. And uh, Filomena, where's Filomena? Is she at the back of there? Filomena, I love your minestrone, darling. Fucking you, Charlie. Yeah. Anyway, everyone who's here tonight, it's very nice. And I think Colonel French was on uh, Master Arm French was on the way. Stand easy. Hey. Don't be, I said stand easy, not easy. Play your jobs. Right. You got Charles here talking about himself. <laughs> well, I'll tell you about Charles. <laughs> All right. I can only say what I know personally of the old Brigadier. And I call him the Brigadier, and the reason being, I knew Charlie when I was a little paedophile, when I was 12. Me and Charlie used to stand in showers measuring our penises. And obviously, mine was larger by six inches. In fact, I was kicking it, I was walking along. But me and Charlie, we then went from the sea cadets, we were very proud, together. Sea cadets. Sea cadets, yes. I used to bang my drum, and Charlie used to bang his meat. I don't know which was going on, meat or drum, I don't know. He was either banging mine or always banging his. <laughs> can I say this or what? There are kids in <laughs> Kids, give me your ears. You're in two. Anyway, come now and call your jets. As time went on, from Charlie's schooling, obviously, and my going into the Royal Navy, but I stepped back too much in paces. Because I used to go to Charlie's house. Fuck me, what a mad house. <laughs> I had the fucking mad Irish woman. Can't have Frenchy, you bastard. What you doing? I had bad mass going, fucking up. Just chilling in the background. I had the fucking mad scooter boy or rocker, whatever he was. And then George wanking himself stupid in the corner looking at scooters. I don't know what was going on. But I had a cracking time in Charlie's house as a kid. That's it. So now I'm what, 14, 15, 16? <laughs> Not stone. <laughs> then I joined the Royal Navy, obviously. So did Charlie. Charlie then joined the Royal Navy, and I can say this is no bullshit. One of the proudest days of my life is in 1982, early 1983, was it Charlie? HMS Fearless come back to the UK. Hey. I was standing on the dockyard side with Mrs. Hill and Baz. All right, Charlie, I know that. <laughs> Baz knows what's going on. And I actually cried. I was proud, not only because of Charlie, obviously, but it was the Falklands War. I was in the mob. All my mates here tonight were in the fucking mob. Sorry, we're in the mob. <laughs> And we were proud of what Charlie had done. He got the Falklands medal. Yeah. He's at that. He was an HMS Fearless. He got shrapnel in his finger. To me, he's a hero. Nelson said, when I die, Charlie is a hero. That's what Nelson said. He didn't know it, but he did say it like 200 years in the future. All right? So Charlie has served our country, he's part of us, he's part of the UK, he's part of this little family. Anyway, that's boring now, we've done that, so you've done it. Anyway, moving on slowly. Alright, shit Nick, calm down, me the jets. But anyway, it's not about us, it's about him. He's 50. He's yeah, hold on, hold on. He's come from a beautiful line of people. He's got his mum there, buggy bastard. <laughs> He's got Baz, who's up there, who's looking down. Beautiful Baz. 
He's got his siblings who are a beautiful family. And he's got us as friends. And I say to you, Charlie, you're not 50, mate. You're 50 stone, but you are, mate. <laughs> and we love you. Thank you. Thank you, Prince. Oh, <laughs> 